Hello everyone, Michelle here from the Creative Cove. Thanks for joining me today. I thought today we would do a couple of sketches on some birdies. So I've been just doodling away with some birds. I don't really have a, I guess it's kind of like a European robin that I've been doodling, though, though they do vary. <laughs> it's not really a specific bird I was drawing on these ones. I was just kind of drawing out of my head um, and playing with, with the way they kind of sit on a branch or something and then I did look up different birds and uh, when I did when I shift to uh, drawing on my labels I do love to draw on these uh, labels that I got secondhand and I have a million of them so I, I try to come up with ways to use them and it's almost always a sketch uh, so I did some different kinds of birds on these ones uh, some blue jays a cardinal uh, I don't even know half the names of these um, but I just had fun with it, and I really like the challenge of trying to keep them inside, like making the composition interesting in this tiny little label. I mean, it's one inch by four inches long, so to fit a bird in there uh, it can be tricky, but I had fun playing with the layouts uh, and just making them kind of fun and charming. So that was uh, something I was doodling. So today I thought we would draw some of these guys together. And uh, I'm using my Micron 00, 0, 0.005 and some scrap cheap watercolor. And these Microns are waterproof, so they're archival ink, so they don't bleed when you wet the paper. So they're great if you decide you really like your drawing and you want a watercolor over top of it, go for it. So let's do some sketching. I'm, I'm going to do, uh, well, like I said, I, I kind of do them out of my head. So I, I guess if I was to reference this bird, it would be closest to um, like a European um, robin. So I'm going to start with an eye. And it's kind of an oval with a bit of a point at the front. And I fill it in where there's just a tiny little dot of white left. And then I like to kind of just do these delicate lines around the eye to start because it, it gives me the opportunity to leave a white space between that and the rest of his feathers on his head, which really helps pop the eyes forward. And then I like to figure out where his beak goes. So for these guys, I pull it just under his eye and then I pull it up to this kind of seed cracking beak. So a little bit rounded in the front, not a pointy, pointy beak. Well, I mean, it's still pointy, but it's not sharp, sharp point. And every species of bird is going to have its own unique beak and, and where it sits with the eye is always different. So I'm still getting my feelers here for where I want to put the beak. So what I like to do is I slowly start building up the head and that kind of helps me tell whether or not I've got it in the right place as I start forming his head. I'm going to have to rotate this, sorry. So I'm just going to fill in as I go here. I'll just get my reference back, which I'm using my other sketch. Because like I said, I don't have a specific bird in mind. I'm just going to start filling in some details around the eye here. And like I said, I leave that little tiny bit of white left. And it really pops his eye. Okay, so I've got the back of his, now I'm going to start with his neck. I'm going to bring his shoulder around here. I'm going to turn it again, just a little easier on my wrist. And I'm going to give him a belly. And then the belly to the back and then a, a, a wing, an indication of a wing. And then a tail. So what's fun about these sketches is Sketching is all about adjustment. It's not a drawing because I'm not doing committed lines. I am feeling my way around the form. So it's important to kind of bear that in mind when you do sketching. You're not going to do a perfect line. You're going to do a series of lines as you're feeling out the shape of what you're drawing. And that's kind of a that's kind of what, why I call them, that's why I call them doodles because they are just sketches. They're not dedicated drawings. Um, I just kind of feel my way through it and see if I like it or not, and I go from there. So one of the things you want to bear in mind when you're drawing feathers or hair or fur 
is the direction in which it grows. So if you were to pat the bird on the head, you're not going to pat it in reverse. You're going to pat it from the head down to the tail because that's the direction that these feathers are growing in. And as his neck comes out, the feathers will rotate and move with that form as well. And that's what helps give it that three-dimensional form on a two-dimensional surface. Also, what you want to consider is the, the length of the lines. So, for example, around his head here, I'm doing tiny little ones. When his tail, I can do really long lines because they're all folded feathers. So the, the length of the feather is also important. And the length of the line will reflect that in your sketch. Okay, so we got, a, we got a nice cute little guy going here. So I think what we'll do now is just put him on a branch. So you want to think about the weight of the bird. So if I draw his legs out this way, he's going to fall off and they're going to look like they're growing out of his chest. So they grow from underneath his feet and you want to think of the weight. So the weight of the bird is sitting on this leg on this branch and I just kind of do these little little hands <laughs> I call them and they just hold the branch I don't go into a lot of detail I just want to indicate where his feet are going to be and them hanging onto the branch so this is bearing the weight and I'm going to put the other one over here a little bit further because this is kind of just balancing him out and how he sits on things is important. So you have to kind of really gauge where his legs should go. And you'll know when you'll get it wrong because it will it will look funny. So let's do one more. Uh, let's do him going the other way maybe. Uh, let's do the eye again. And... So it's a little bit of an oval shape with kind of a pointy on the front here. And then I always do that little dotted line. And then I get a feel for his beak. So his mouth would be down here. So this would be the opening of his mouth right here. And then his beak. I find people struggle with the beak the most. So you want to, again, make sure it's in proportion. So for me, I have to draw the head to see if I've got it right. See if I want to make adjustments. And again, every bird species will be, bird family will be different on how their eyes relate to their beaks and how the shape of their beak is. So I'm going to give him a throat here. And then his neck bumps into his shoulder, which bumps into his wing. I'll just do an indication of a wing. So those long lines, because they're all folded flight wings here. And you could do pattern in it if you want. And then his shoulder. So now we need his throat, which comes down here. And into his chest. And then you can put little feathery details. So again, nice short feathers in the direction they grow. Again, just a sketch, something quite simple, but you're capturing that form. And this is, this is my favorite way of being creative. I just, sketching just loosens me right up to be creative and do other things. Even on days I can't sketch, there are days where I can't sketch for the life of me. I can pick up a pencil or a pen and I can't do anything right. And it's just like anything. You just kind of get that block. And I just walk away from it for that day and decide, okay, I'm not going to sketch today. And then other days I can sketch for hours and love every single sketch I do. That's just the nature of the beast, I guess. All right, so in where the form changes, so his head will meet his shoulder, which meets his wing. So in between the wing, uh, b between the shoulder and the head, I'll darken that up a little bit. And in between the, the shoulder and the wing, I'll also darken up just to try and indicate that form. And uh, I think that really helps with the three-dimensional 
three-dimensional play. So I'm going to darken his tail a little. Again, long lines on the tail because they're nice folded feathers. And I think that's good. You can play with little baby feathers popping out here around his beak and coming back off his forehead. And then again, we're going to put him on something. So this time we'll maybe put him on a stump. So I'm going to draw, indicate the stump here. And determine where I want his feet. So in this one, I'm going to put a leg right here and another leg right here so that the weight of the bird, the center of the bird is on both legs. So the weight's evenly distributed on this guy. And then I do a back claw and three front ones hanging on to that branch, hanging on to that stump, sorry. So one claw coming off here, another one, another one, and then the indication of the one in the back. And then I'll put some texture in the stump. Maybe break this up a little bit. It's a bit too flat. Boring. There. So it's just two little doodles. And you can always keep playing with it. You can add branches. I did one, I wonder if I have it here, I'll show you another idea you can do. I don't know if I kept it or not. So many drawings everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. So here's a, another thing you can play with. I'll pull you out just a little bit. Um, you can add in branches. So in this case, I did just a cute little sketch of a wreath. Of three birds, same kind of birds we drew. Now this is a different angle. He's looking towards us a bit, but one's looking one way, one's looking the other way. And all I did was add whimsical little berries. And I just, basically I drew a pencil line in a circle, very light so that I stayed within a circle. And I just did these cute little berries, the little nodules here. So where you put these little nodules shows where the how the berry's growing. So if I don't, if I put one at the top here, this berry's turning this way, this one's toward, towards us. I can do another one this way where it's moving away from us. So I like drawing these berries because it's that simple to create form here and um, perspective. So you can just really have fun with it. Put some more leaves in. And again, this is on watercolor paper, so you can really have fun painting over top of this once you've drawn it out. Um, I will have these on Etsy available if you did want to purchase them. Uh, what I would recommend doing is printing them. If you don't want to draw your own or you're not comfortable, you want somewhere to start, um, print them on watercolor paper and then color them in with watercolor paper. Have fun. Or pencil crayon. And you just keep playing. Just have fun with it. Remember that it is a sketch. It's not a drawing per se. It's not a precise line. You're just feeling it out. That's what all these sketchy lines are about. Just feeling out the process, feeling out the form. And then find yourself some really fun things to draw on. Like, uh, I don't know, you could draw on, say, a scrap piece of paper this size and challenge yourself to, to make an interesting composition of a bird in here, like I did with these labels. So just some ideas and some quick sketches. I hope you liked that. I hope it helped. I hope you followed along. Please let me know what you think. And um, take care, everyone. I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.